and welcome to part two of my seascape tutorials. Um, for those of you who joined me last week, this is basically where we got to. We learnt how to um, cut strips and blend those strips so that they're, they're very similar coloured fabric so that they come down in shade and then cut a nice little shoreline along here and stitch them on. What I'm going to cover this week is how we then blend these strips together a little bit more and get a little bit of shimmer which you often get on the uh, sea on a nice sunny day um, and to do that we're actually going to be using organzas um, and then after that I'm going to just show you how I put a few little waves in um, and different materials that you can use for that. So we'll start off, I'm just going to turn this so that I can show you a nice pile that I've got here next to my sewing machine. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This is a pile of organzas and as you can see there are different shades, that's a, a, a true blue, a deep blue, a sea greeny blue that's actually darker than it looks on the camera um, and then a much paler blue um, those are the colors that I'm going to be using today and the problem with organza is it's it doesn't fold up very easily so it's just in a pile there right okay so if you come over to here what you can see here is that I've cut three different strips now and these strips are about the same sort of width about a centimeter centimeter and a half the same roughly as the strips that we were cutting last week and what i'm going to do is start at the top putting the this one at the top the darker one at the top and then graduating down to a lighter one and they're going to come over here just take this off now they're going to come over here and we're going to start the darker one along here right at the very top line and then bring them down and it'll start to blend the C and give the C that shimmer. So they're going to overlap very slightly like I do with all my strips and then I'm going to stitch them on with clear nylon thread. We'll do that first and then once we've done that we'll look at how we can produce waves. So I'm just going to stand you up hopefully you won't fall over there we are and what I'm going to do first is actually just spray these again using the 505 spray just spray these very lightly hopefully without them blowing away they don't need much for spraying you do need to um, hold the can a little way away so, taking the first one, we're going to lay that down over the top there, like that. Trying to make sure that you don't go over the top of the first line of C fabric. And then the next one, we just overlap that slightly like this and you can see how this is changing already and then the last one will come down here a little bit and overlap that there there we are so you can see that that is changing it already then what we're going to do is bring the sewing machine in I've already got this threaded up with um, some clear thread so I'm just going to bring that up through as we would normally but white thread underneath which is absolutely fine white bobbin fill underneath because that's so fine that that won't show through and then we'll just pop that in there make sure that that's nice and tight okay so sometimes you have to fiddle a little bit because we don't want the top stitch to the, the the top bit of organza to go over there or she'll get a shadow so we'll just move that down a little bit there to start with and then i'm just going to stitch that in place now then you can do this one strip at a time i've put all three strips on but you can do it one strip at a time if you find that easier so just go along the very top there just holding that in place 
go down to the top of the next bit and secure that. And of course, by using clear thread, you can't really see the stitches. And then any detail that you might want to put into the C later on, you're then free to do so. I'm just looking at this and thinking that I might just put another little bit just a bit down here so I've just taken got some of the the very light and I'm just going to cut a piece of that so that uh, I can just put that a bit further down now then I do realize that um, you're not all going to have loads of organza like me um, you can pick up organza quite small pieces of organza quite cheaply online um, some of the pieces that i know i don't use a lot of i've actually bought um, what they sell for actually putting around the back of chairs at weddings so you get a long sort of strip which is perfect for this and um, that was only costing me about 99p to a maximum of one pound fifty so if you are um, wanting to have a go you can just get two or three smaller pieces so that you can experiment so i'm going to put this bit i don't know if you can see what i'm doing there just putting that bit down there just to give that a bit more of a blend and then we will come across and get that in place Stitch that in place there those pieces off so there you can see that's blended it and it's difficult to show you the shimmer but there is a, a shimmer on that more so that's blended it down so the next thing that we need to look at is how do we do waves and waves are very difficult in some ways um, knowing exactly what to put where and what looks right is a bit of trial and error um, I'm the person that when we go to the beach sits there and takes lots and lots of photographs of the waves coming in and no photographs of the scenery and I do find that that helps a bit if you go on different days when it's more blustery or more calm where you can get different views of how how the sea actually looks so waves it what I tend to use for doing waves is this this is called mulberry bark you can get that online it's a really versatile fabric from the inner bark of the mulberry tree and you can pull it apart you can just pull off little bits you can make holes in it and it's got that sort of wavy sort of look um, and it looks very natural so i tend to pull off pieces of this um, and manipulate it into a shape that looks like waves depending on what sort of size of wave I want to create so but what else you can also use I've got a few other things here lace is very good um, this is um, a piece of old neck curtain so you can just tear off pieces of this oops I've lost it here it is you can tear off pieces of that and then pop that on to create waves so things like that are very good um, on slightly bigger pieces you can also use this which is like a, a net this is um, a net from an old shower puff um, I don't throw anything away in our house and I have washed it um, so there's lots of things that you can actually use but today I'm going to be using the mulberry bark so if I take you over here again these are the pieces that I've pulled out. So you can actually pull out very, very fine pieces. So this is going to go part way down, so it'll be more in the distance. And this is going to come more towards the front. So what I'm going to do is just give those a little light spray. And then pick them up. And then it's sort of working out where you want them to go. 
So I think I'm going to put that there. You can manipulate this as well to have little sort of ups and downs in it just like waves do you can make it very flat and this bit is probably going to go that way around and again that will just go there like that we'll just bring that along there like that a bit more and push it up a bit in the middle so that uh, that looks a little bit like a wave that's rolling in and then exactly the same as before we want to stitch this in place now then with the finer pieces the very narrow line here what I'm going to do is put my machine onto a zigzag which on my machine is a number seven just a straightforward normal zigzag and then reduce the width down to about one and a half to one and then you can actually catch these in place. Now then obviously if you haven't got clear thread, you can use white thread to do this and it's not gonna be seen. I'm just using the clear thread because that's what I've got in my uh, machine at the moment. Make sure that's working all right there on the outside and then bring that over to the start. So that is now, just gonna see if I can bring you in a bit closer there. That is now there and you just go very carefully and that will just couch that down. to knock you over this morning and then put it back onto straight stitch um, because this is a bit wider and we can just use a straight stitch to hold this in place just wiggling along with it this up now and show you there you can see that that has helped to blend I'm just going to put this on top because it does make a huge difference that's helped to blend in the C and get a bit of shimmer on it and I've started to put some waves in there I might just put a tiny partial wave there in a moment but you can get the general idea. That's as much as we're going to do this week so that you can go away and have a practice on that. Um, next week, we will be looking down here at starting to put some beach in. Um, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next week.